Hello everyone and welcome to Cyber War. My name is Victor. Today we're doing a video about phishing and specifically how the, the malware creators, the, the bad actors, are continuously registering domains and subdomains in an automated fashion and they are using them to, to trick people into clicking on things you might have noticed uh, that I recently did a live uh, where I showed um, how many domains are registered which have a certain characteristics uh, you might want to watch it. Well, you can't watch it. It's nine hours and 33 minutes. But what this is, is an automated um, flow of uh, domains based on certificate transparency, which is an initiative where you can see what domain or subdomain gets a uh, secure certificate. So, uh, in case I lost you, um, you need to know that there is a, a preference for malware actors to register um, domains that start like a normal uh, domain so that they can trick you in the um, here in the bar so if it starts with pay.yahoo.com uh, and then it ends in some weird domain um, most likely it's a uh, um, the domain is suspicious so based on that there is a very old um, repository called phishing catcher which uses a search stream that evaluates these uh, domains and um, yeah um, you get to see them it's helpful for you to get like uh, an image so here's how it evaluates them. like it gets all the, the the flow of domains that are being permanently registered and it gives it points like if it has one of these keywords in um it gets certain amount of points and yeah other tricks and it gets some it checks only certain uh, top level domains but you can work on that this is very old it has a few years and this is what i used and this thing uses something called search stream um, and this initiative looks at what domains are registered so if you for example if you click here this is what they call the fire hose all the domains which are registered so you work with this basically with this last part and you analyze it through the suspicious scoring that you can change and it, it gives you uh like this a fire hose of um for example let's find one oh yeah so what would be the reason for this to exist for example eng dot private dot antares Dash the, I mean, it's obviously that somebody's trying to trick somebody to do something. Or all these that include pay. Or this one. Um, so yeah, I ran I ran the script fishing catcher for nine hours, left it as a stream. Um, it's a nice thing to have playing on a monitor if that's something you you prefer um, but um, 
yeah, let's um, um oh, and I also have some, some very nice comments. Nice. Um, let's um look on the virtual machine and see how uh, how I managed to to do this and what else can we do with this search stream. Right, so as you can see, this is still running. Um, I'm going to open another um, another machine for this. Uh, you get you can see my droplet number here, but I'm going to remove it anyway before I upload the video. It doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, all right, so this is still running. Um, I actually get to stop it. So as you can see, it makes some files called suspicious domains. Uh, for example, suspicious domains. We can look inside it and um, yeah because that's running too fast but for example this one here is trying to pretend it's something else it's obvious also um, this one is very weird you you see my point uh, what you need to know is that you, you must play with the suspicious uh, config to get your own things I'm not going to provide you with a fine-tuned one because it depends on your specific uh, indicators of compromise anything that you want to use but this is the general idea and let's Let's try to play search stream. Like so, this is how it looks when it's not filtered. These are basically all the subdomains that everybody on the internet is um, registering or whatever. They are issuing certificates for them. Actually, um, as you can imagine, this also comes as a as a Python uh, module, and you can of course, you can of course uh, work with that. For example, I wrote a small script here that takes only the domain. takes only the domain name and outputs only the domain name and you can so you basically can do this and then uh, let's say you only oh 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 so you can but you can actually You want to grip the ones ending in a certain, you see? So basically, this simple script gives you what you need, only the domain. Then you use it in your other tools. Okay? I'll put a link to the, to the simple script in, um, in the description. I'm, I'm going to make a, a GitHub for this. Um, actually, yeah, so what else can you do with it? Like, you can, I don't know, oh, sorry, I can look for Spanish domains or, ah, sorry, 
wanted to end in Spanish. It takes a bit longer because... Oh, but here they are. Or you can, of course, look for PayPal. And now we're going to catch the scammers. This is like for when you're looking for a certain keyword, but you can also look for um, domains that are You can also look for domains that are uh, ending or for subdomains that end in a certain double in a certain domain. So you you want to focus on a certain list of targets, then yeah, that's also possible. So it's just like five lines or a few lines of code using search stream and it's like fresh domains and everything. This one doesn't really work. It's not they are not registered so fast with PayPal. Maybe with Pay. Here you go. How likely is it that on a domain called catfood6.xyz You don't have anything suspicious like look look at them. there's something happening with these uh... all right uh that was it see you next time